Hello and welcome back once again to the Answering Atheism presentation brought to you by your friends here at abitoforange.com. So in conclusion, what's an atheist and what else is out there? Well, the friends that we met are Christians, people who have accepted salvation and forgiveness for their sins through Jesus Christ. There are theists, who are people hoping to earn salvation by doing good. There are agnostics, these are people who don't know. There's the atheist who says, God does not exist, and there's the roach clown that hates you. Like anything else, Christianity is either true or false, and either we know it, or we don't. Thus, there are only three possible positions anyone can take. There's Christianity that says, it's confirmed, the Bible is true from the very first page. There's agnosticism that says, I don't know. And there's atheism that says, no, busted, God does not exist. What does faith mean to an atheist? Well, according to some atheists, faith is believing what you know ain't so. But according to Jesus, well, Jesus said to them, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Jesus, and the Bible in general, distinguishes between belief in as opposed to merely belief that. Jesus doesn't say, believe that I exist, believe that I am. He says, believe in me, put your trust in me. We are asked by God from cover to cover of the Bible to put our faith and trust in him. We already know he's there. We just need to accept that he should be our Lord, God, Savior, and King. So what does atheism teach? What are its tenets? The faith of atheism, first of all, is materialism. All that is, is time, space, matter, and energy. Because of this, there is no free will, no self, no soul, no right and wrong. Atheism teaches that we are essentially toasters. We're a machine that does what the machine is designed to do, and that's all we do, and it's all we can do. But the truth is, we're like toasters in the fact that we are made by an intelligent designer with a purpose. When given the chance to write their own commandments, even atheists show the knowledge of God's law is written on their hearts. They know there is right and wrong. They know we have personal responsibility. They know human life has value. As the Book of Romans says, For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men, who by their unrighteousness suppress the truth. For what can be known about God is plain to them because God has shown it to them. For his invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world in the things that have been made. So they are without excuse. The Cosmic Teapot. Even when trying to show they don't have the burden of proof, atheists adopt the burden of proof and admit that they cannot use reason, logic, or evidence to support atheism. What evidence proves the existence of God? Well, we made a good positive case against atheism. What's the positive case for theism, specifically the God of the Bible? Objective morals prove the existence of God, and not just any supposed deity, but the God of the Bible. The universe proves the existence of God. The universe is time, space, matter, and energy. The fact that it exists and had to come into being shows that there must be a cause which is himself timeless, spaceless, immaterial, and transcendently powerful. And, when we look at life, we see that not only does our creator have to be powerful, but tremendously intelligent. The amount of information in every living cell shows that our creator is brilliant in a way that we can only just start to understand. Why does all of it matter? It matters because all of us, theist and atheist and agnostic alike, all know that we have sin and we fall short of the glory of God. There's nobody on earth who doesn't know whether or not they choose to admit it in public. We know that we have sinned, we have done wrong. There are things we wish we could take back. There are things we do we wish we wouldn't. So what do we do with that burden of sin? Either we ignore it, either we try to pay for it ourselves, or we acknowledge that we can't pay for it, and we go to God. And God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that's Jesus, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. It matters that the Bible can be trusted because the Bible is where we're told the gospel, the good news of salvation through Jesus. We already know that we're sinners. So what do we do with that sin? Well, the only thing that can take care of it is forgiveness through Christ so we can be made right with God and have eternal life. Once again, the big picture is this. The Bible is true from the very first page. For every attack against the Bible, there are answers. For every question about Christianity, there are answers. For every doubt or confusion, there are answers. Whoever you are, Whatever you ask, there are answers. Don't stop looking until you find them. Well, thanks for joining us on this series of Answering Atheism, brought to you by your friends here at abitoforange.com. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And as always, remember, Jesus loves you.